Welcome back to that dad guy. It is December the 9th, 2022. It's two degrees out today. Yesterday was 11 and it was raining. Uh, we still haven't had our first real snowfall. I mean, we've had a little bit of snow come down and then it disappears within a couple hours, but we've not had the kind that sticks on the ground and is there for a few days, or even it becomes the base for the rest of the winter. I'm not sure when we're going to get that. I'm not sure if we're going to have a green Christmas or a white Christmas this year. At this rate, um, you know, we're only a couple weeks away from Christmas. It doesn't look like there's going to be a white Christmas here. Uh, we will see. <laughs> a lot of excitement happening. Today, after I finish work, I'm on vacation. So I'm on vacation for the next week. I can uh, rest a little bit, recover. Um, yeah, it's been a little hectic at work. This is the time of the year when it is. Uh, you take multiple trips to go out to get everything accomplished. We've been working six days a week uh, where we work on Sundays. So I'll be glad for this week's holiday. It means uh, this Sunday I won't be working. Uh, I will have the whole week off and then I'll go back to work next Sunday and then uh, do the final week's push before Christmas. So that's happening. So I'm glad I'm on vacation. Woohoo! Uh, the other thing that happened is that uh, this YouTube channel just passed 600 subscribers, or at least it did when shooting this video. Uh, maybe a whole bunch of people have left since. Uh, I don't know, but I'm going to celebrate the milestone. We're at 600 subscribers and growing, hopefully. So thank you, everyone, for uh, continuing to uh, share this channel, continuing to support it by uh, leaving comments, leaving the thumbs up, you know, all the usual things, and, of course, subscribing to it. So thank you so much for that. Uh, speaking of comments, make sure you leave a comment in That Dead Guy Answers. That's the last video came out last uh, Saturday. Every Saturday, I answer the questions from the previous week's video. So if you haven't got your questions in, make sure you do so I can answer them tomorrow. So that's my plug for That Dead Guy Answers video for tomorrow. And today, you tuned in for a post-crossing video. Friday's the day that I go through all the mail that I've received in my mailbox and... Uh, this is what I've received this week. Now, I haven't received any official post-crossing cards this week, but I'm not surprised. Last week, I hit uh, quite a few that came in, so I probably got caught up with all of them. Now, I just have to wait for the, the system to work its way through again till I get some more. But in the meantime, I do have some surprises that came through and some friend mail. So let's just get on with that. All right, the first one comes from my friend Lewis in Dubai. And uh, I noticed this postcard was being sent to a couple other people, and I was wondering whether or not one would end up in my mailbox. I'm very happy that it did. Uh, I love these uh, shaped cards that are different. Uh, it's a nice Christmas card with the penguin. Um, there is the stamp that Lewis has put on the back. It, it was 32 on November 11th when he sent this to me. Um, it's not 32 here, and uh, only it is in like uh, July and August that we reach that temperature, or maybe a bit higher. So thank you, Lewis, for that Christmas card. Merry Christmas to you. Uh, there is also a second card that came from Lewis, and this one is from the Dungeons & Dragons series. Now, Lewis and I both have the Dungeons & Dragons box, so every once in a while I send him a card, and he sends the same card back to me, or vice versa. So uh, that's kind of what we got going on there. But here are all the stamps he's put in this time. I like the variety this way. I like the uh, way he's decorated it, too. We've got... Uh, polo down there and we've got a paquita there so thank you lewis for that card as well as the other christmas card all right the next card i have comes from fernando you guys probably are uh, following fernando i'll put a, his link below uh, so you can go to his youtube channel and support him as well uh, there is the stamp there is his uh, Astro Boy stamp on there, and there's everybody else who was at the meetup. And as I understand, um, Fernando actually designed the card for the meetup as well. If I'm incorrect, Fernando, you let me know, but I think that's what you said in one of your videos. I really like the seahorse stamp too. That's really cool. So thank you, Fernando, for thinking of me and sending that off to me. The next one I have comes from Nina in Alberta here in Canada. It's a nice snowflake. And it's Christmas greetings on the back with Santa Claus washi tape. There's one of the new bird stamps that came out for Canada. There's the cancellation from Redwater, Alberta. And some nice snowflakes there. So thank you, Nina, for the Christmas wishes. The next one comes from, let's flip this right way around, from Greece. Aurelia 
she sends this off to me. This is from a meetup there. What a beautiful location. There is the stamp. Always nice. And there's everybody who is in attendance. Great. Love meetups. Like the different cards that are out there and the Greek architecture in the background. Beautiful. She wasn't done. She sent another one too. I got a blue cat from her. Now this was a contest she had and uh, I happened to be the winner of it. So I was very pleased to have won that and to get uh, another blue cat card. Here is the stamp that she sent and the congratulations at the top for winning it. So thank you so much Aurelia for, uh, for having the contest in the first place, I guess. And uh, being the lucky one to, to win that and to get those two cards from you. So thank you so much. And hopefully you have a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. The next card, another Christmas card. This one comes from Julianne in Germany. And uh, so we're on the Christmas theme. There's lots of Christmas theme cards coming now and Christmas theme stamps. So a variety of stamps on this one here from gingerbread houses all the way to nativity scenes. So thank you, Julianne, for that. And thank you for all the cards we've been swapping through the year. And the next one comes from Hans in Germany. Now, Hans, you may have just recently watched one of the videos I did. He sent me a whole bunch of German stamps with some beautiful cancellations on it. And uh, so he's sent this card, which is actually a church in his community. Uh, he says he doesn't really have much snow yet, uh, but when this picture was taken, there was some snow on the ground. There are the stamps for all of you out there who are interested in the stamps and the cancellations. Thank you, Hans. This next card, we have the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco and the Goodyear Blimp, which you might see over uh, many uh, sporting events like NASCAR or as used to be in baseball, football games, that sort of stuff, it would show up. But this comes from Erin, who is from Colorado. And she sends, uh, sends this one around uh, American Thanksgiving. So she says that uh, she really enjoys the gratitude of loved ones and of course the food, including cheese. I'm a big cheese person too, I really like it. I've been watching uh, Renee Lewis has been doing a daily advent that she's been swapping with her sister. She did an advent uh, calendar for her sister and uh, her sister did one for her. So Renee every day shows uh, what she received from her sister in the advent calendar. And if you go onto her uh, sister and brother-in-law's page, they do the same, but they have a whole bunch of advent calendars. And it's really cool. I've really been enjoying watching that. So I'll, I'll put the link down for them as well. So if you have a go a chance, go check them out. They're a lot of fun. I actually bought one of the Lego or one of the advent calendars. Let me just switch this around real quick. That one there, it's a Funko Pop uh, Star Wars. I saw it on her sister's channel and I uh, really liked it and so I found one in in the area I picked it up and it's become the the household favorite everybody wants to know what the next character is that's coming out of it even though we have a Star Wars Lego one uh, the Lego one's all right I really like the minifigures that come with it but the little builds that are with it aren't always the best so uh, these little mini Funko Pops have been a lot of fun all right that being said let's get back to Aaron's card out please completely sidetracked so there are the stamps and she says she likes cheese. There's a whole bunch of cheese themed stickers and washi on it here too. So thank you, Erin. Thank you for uh, actually reaching out on uh, YouTube. Uh, that's where she found me. She's been sending me these cards and uh, she sent me a comment to let me know that she was from Colorado. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Erin. The next card comes from Bob and he's in Ontario in Canada. There's Bono posing. He says that uh, he saw that I was a YouTube fan, that, that I might enjoy this card, which I do. Uh, he's had a chance to see you two in concert twice. I've only seen them once, but uh, maybe one day I'll get a chance to see him again. It was fantastic when I did see them. There's the stamp that Bob's included. So thank you for the, the Bono card. All right, this next card comes from Colombia. It comes from Miguel Perez. And uh, we've done a swap here. So this is kind of a first time swap with him. He said this card, uh, this oddly shaped card, because it's a really long one as you can see. Uh, as depicting the facades of a traditional in the town of uh, Catape. It's a very touristy town, he says. And there is the musical stamp on the back from Colombia. So thank you, Miguel, for that card and the swap. 
The next one comes from uh, Renee. We already talked about her and her YouTube channel, so we'll bring it up again. But uh, here is our hedgehog, pretty cute Christmas card from Renee. Uh, she uh, sends her, her wishes for a good holiday season there. And there's the forever stamp and the nice stickers and things that she's done it with. You really get a chance to see some more of her creativity in the gifts that she's sent her sister and brother-in-law too. So it's nice to be able to see that too. All right, she wasn't done. She sent another envelope or a envelope. So we've got some stamps there from Renee. And inside, she sent me some stickers. So if you know Renee, she's big into marine biology. So we've got some fishy fishies and turtles. And then we've got a collection of animals and things there and some scenery to go along. So things that I can continue to decorate with. And then she sent me this beautiful card card, not postcard. Really nicely done. And a nice message inside, which I'll keep to myself. So thank you so much, Renee, for the stickers and the uh, beautiful Christmas card and your friendship. It's been a pleasure corresponding back and forth with you. All right, the next one comes from Lila in the United States. And there, I don't know if you can see that uh, cancellation or not, but it says Seasons Greetings, North Pole. And a little Santa in a moon shape there as well. So thank you for that. And the nice envelope from Lila. And in it, she sent me a matching Christmas card to go with it. So thank you so much, Lila, for that, for all the swaps, for all the contributions you do to the channel. Um, now that I've hit 600 subscribers, it's kind of nice to be able to um, focus on some of the people that have helped get me there. And uh, the people that you've been seeing cards from are a lot of the people that have supported me uh, for the year and a half that I've been doing this. Uh, yeah, a little bit more than a year and a half now that I've been strongly uh, putting out videos. So uh, thank you to everyone who's been doing that. The last uh, card that I got today comes from Zachary, also in the United States. There are the stamps, never been canceled. So I made it all the way here from that. And he also sent me a Christmas card. So it's just a Merry Christmas card. And then, yeah, not a postcard. I'll leave the message for myself. So we're seeing a few more actual card cards show up. Which I don't mind. Uh, I do love the postcards because the postcards I file away, but uh, Christmas cards are nice as well. So there is my stack of friend mail that I got this week. Uh, I'll have a few things that I'll be able to write back to on the weekend. And then I've got my bad dad got answers tomorrow. And then I'm not sure next week. Um, I'm, as I'm on vacation, we'll see what I decide to put out. I do want to do a uh, video showing you the uh, Christmas decorations that people have put out around their houses. So I might get to one of those next week. Uh, also, my daughter gets back from university mid next week. So probably next weekend, we'll be looking at uh, cutting down a, a tree and decorating the inside of the house. So I'd like to do a video showing you some of that as well. Um, so those are just some of the ideas I have coming up. There aren't a lot of uh, festivals or things happening right now. So uh, we're pretty quiet on that front. But I think everybody's just kind of preparing for the holidays and uh, going to Christmas parties, last pushes at work and at school. And uh, that's what we're doing here too. So hopefully you've enjoyed the ride. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, tuning in this year for everything that I've been posting. Um, hopefully you will continue to do so in 2023 as uh, we're getting closer and closer to that. It's hard to believe we're like three weeks away from a brand new year. But thank you everyone once again for getting us to 600 subscribers. I'll be curious to see how long it takes to get to the next milestone. I know Basil sent me a message to congratulate me on getting there and he had a prediction on when he thought that I might uh, reach a, a much bigger milestone. I'll be curious to see whether or not uh, he's correct. But uh, I'm enjoying the ride. Hopefully you guys are too. Thanks for tuning in and have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?